Happy who knows what day of quarantine it is right now. Hope that everyone is doing well. I wanna check in with you today and talk about what it is like to work from home. So uh, I actually was a, I was a stay at home mom for a long time. Then I worked from home and managing your work from home space can be challenging. If you have uh, dedicated space, like little office nooks that you can create, if you have a whole office room, God bless you. Um, that is an extraordinary level of privilege and yay, have that space. Now, if you don't have an office space that is your own room, um, dedicated specifically to work, then go ahead and create little corners, little nooks. I'm sitting right here on a credenza at the moment that's like at the back of my living room. So whatever you have to do to carve out a little space that's a working space, that helps you create mental space. Physical space can facilitate mental space to get things done. Another thing that is useful as if, if you are starting to work from home for the very first time, then you'll begin to notice that it's difficult to put demarcation around when work begins and ends, right? So you'll find yourself responding to emails, doing things that need to be done at all hours of the night, not healthy, okay? What you need to do is decide to the best of your ability to have some like specific work blocks, work hours, this is when you work. If you're like me and you have one or more children at home that you have to care for, you need to make sure that you've got time allocated just to be with them. So I'm trying to have my like morning times to do whatever homeschool needs to be done, attend to my child. We like to have recess, go outside every day, ride bikes, go for a walk. So make sure that you've got time for your family and time for work and put some boundaries on that. It's not an unreasonable expectation. The other thing that can be difficult is just keeping your head in a good space when you're trying to work. So again, I will probably say on every one of these videos, turn the news off, okay? Don't listen to it all day long. Uh, if you wanna check in on the coronavirus numbers or what's happening in your community, do that once a day, twice a day at most, uh, because that will bring you down. And if you allow yourself to sink into this crazy fear space, it's, gonna, it's not gonna help your work productivity and it certainly is not going to help your immune system. So try to keep that you know, consumption of the news down to a minimum. Um, also remember if we're if you're working from home and that involves a lot of screen time, make sure that 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 at least every you know 20, 30 minutes, hour at the most, that you get away from the screen and you need to look long distances. So if we're looking, you know, if you're on your phone, you're on your computer and you're looking at this very short distance, it's unhealthy for your eye health and for your, you know, your brain. You'll get headaches and things. You've got to look into the distance, step outside. Even if you don't go for a walk just get out and look farther away and get yourself away from that screen if you can. So you want to try to create some balance and it's okay. There's a like primordial technique. There's a thing that you can, a little timer you can put on your uh, computer that allows you to do work in little chunks and then, you know, take breaks in, little, in periodic intervals. These things are important. And last but not least, want to make sure that you are creating time for fun, for joy, for happiness, for connection. So even if we're talking about work, uh, whether your, you know, whether your leadership has formally decided to create some opportunities for you to connect with people, you can do that on your own. So grab your teammates and, you know, create yourself a virtual happy hour. Uh, find I did a well, what is a silent reading party, right? You can have a silent reading party. You can have a virtual dance party. Crowdsource, <laughs> crowdsource your joy uh, with each other and find out what other people are doing to maintain their sanity. It is more important than ever that each of us keeps our spirits up in this time. Anything that is dragging you down, you've got to eliminate that and focus on the things that bring you joy. As long as you're keeping your spirits up, you're staying connected with people that you care about, even staying connected with people that you work with, because we all know sometimes you don't like the people you work with. <laughs> but right now we need each other more than anything. It is together that we will build the resilience and have the strength to overcome this challenge. And yes, we will overcome it, but we need each other. So reach out across that digital divide, connect in whatever creative way that you can, and and go forth and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Now, if you've got fantastic ideas for um, how to create joy and create community, please drop them in the comments. I would love to hear from you.
from you. And thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate you and hope that you can find as much sunshine as possible through these oh, dark times. So let's do this. We've got it together. We're going to make it happen. Take care.